The PC Game Pass library is stocked with amazing cross-platform titles that are ideal for Ultimate members who like to switch it up between console and computer. But there are also some fantastic titles that you'll only find on the PC side of things. From dystopian strategy games to mythological adventures and interstellar conquest. Here are some of the best. With its painterly pixel art style and its sci-fi tinged southern gothic setting, Norco is a game that immediately feels different from anything else you've played. This point-and-click adventure follows a young woman as she returns to Louisiana to mourn her late mother and search for her missing brother. The further you venture into the swamplands and dilapidated suburbs, the stranger things get with barstool detectives, bayou pirates, and influencer cults all getting wrapped up in your adventure. Throughout the story, you'll also be given various chances to fill in the blanks and decide what it all means on a personal level, untangling ideas about faith, family, memory, and mourning. Lean into the weirdness of it all, and you might just emerge from the swamp with some deep thoughts about what it means just to be alive. And if not, you'll still get to meet a pixel art turtle. That's certainly one entry ticked off my bucket list. Well, what shall we talk about? Hmm? Speaking of PC classics, they don't get much classicer than the Command & Conquer series. These beloved real-time strategy games take place in an alternate history, where a meteor crashed to Earth and blessed us all with a handy new substance called Tiberium, which we then promptly used to develop all sorts of shiny new death machines, leading to a worldwide war between the Global Defense Initiative and a shady cult-like organization called the Brotherhood of Nord. The remastered collection brings together the first two games in the series as well as their expansion packs, meaning there are endless hours of Nord battling fun to enjoy. As the title suggests, both games have been renovated in luxurious style, with 4K graphics and remastered soundtracks. Combine that with the totally revamped user interface which makes the games way more accessible and this collection is brilliant for new players and nostalgic old heads alike. In the classic action RPG Jade Empire, you'll be fighting for the fate of a very different world and in a much more hands-on fashion. Steeped in Chinese mythology, Jade Empire has you playing as the last surviving spirit monk as they try to topple a corrupt empire. A corrupt empire who unfortunately has dudes like this and this on his payroll, so yeah, this one might get a little tricky. The good news is that you've got some pretty sweet martial arts moves of your own to work with, plus a magical technique or two. However, you can't just go around fireballing everyone in sight. Jade Empire operates according to a morality system, which will affect the world around you depending on the choices you make. It's the same blend of heart-pounding action and head-scratching ethical dilemmas which Bioware brought to titles like Mass Effect and Knights of the Old Republic, and it's every bit as enthralling. Hearts of Iron 4 is a grand strategy game which recreates the Second World War in a shockingly comprehensive way, allowing you to take command of any nation involved and lead them into battle. You can try to secure a faster victory for the Allies or play as an Axis power to see what kind of scary alternate timelines you can create. Or maybe you appreciate a challenge and want to try your hand with one of the smaller countries that are just trying to make it through in one piece. Either way, you'll have an authentically recreated selection of tanks, planes and ships to take out onto the battlefield. But of course, that's not the only place that a battle is won. You'll also need to manage diplomatic relations with your allies, ensure the economy remains strong enough to keep your war chest full and ensure your citizens remain fully committed to the effort. It's a lot to take on, but if you plan things out right and execute it all to a T, you might just make history. If you're not content with just dabbling into human history and you actually fancy rewriting the whole thing from scratch, then Humankind might just be the game for you. This turn-based strategy game starts you out with nothing but a humble group of wandering nomads and a great big dream. At first, your only concern is whether there's going to be enough mammoth meat to feed the whole tribe, but before you know it, you'll be developing rockets and taking part in complex negotiations with your neighbours over who Wales really belongs to. You know, it really is the ultimate test of your plate-spinning ability, with each era bringing its own challenges. Are you going to pursue science or focus on military conquests? Do you want bigger or more stable ones? And what exactly are you going to do about all that pollution that seems to be piling up ever since you did that whole industrial revolution thing? Thanks to the rigorous research which went into each of the phases of history, each game becomes a fascinating tale of how humanity might have gotten on if things had been just a little bit different. 
The year is 3025. Advances in technology have allowed humanity to spread the light of civilization all across the galaxy. Things are not great. Those same technological advances have led to the creation of deadly mech suits, which the galaxy's great houses are now using to take part in an interstellar slap fight. Which is rough, but it does create certain economic opportunities for a plucky young mercenary outfit like the one you're in charge of. Managing your squad of mech pilots, you'll engage in thrilling firefights while also engaging in the no less thrilling business of balancing the books. Upgrades and repairs are costly, so be sure to choose your contracts wisely and try to bring back your mechs in one piece whenever possible. To be clear, if stuff like this happens, your business is probably going to fail. And if you want to spend even more time in a universe full of lumbering killbots, you'll find the fifth game in Battletech's sister CD's Mech Warriors, available on both Xbox and PC Game Pass. Last up, we've got by far the fanciest sounding game on this list, Europa Universalis 4. Just like my man Walter White, this game is in the Empire business. It's up to you to lead your chosen civilization to the very top of the global food chain by whatever means necessary. You might aim to take control of the world's most important trade routes, turning you into an economic superpower, or you could just use your people skills to play politics and gain the upper hand over your rivals. Oh, and there's always the option of just sending a bunch of guys over to poke him with spears. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Whatever type of empire you decide to build, you'll need to choose wisely when it comes to the person in charge of it. Thanks to the game's clever monarch power system, your success will depend partially on how capable or not so capable the person sitting on the throne turns out to be. Then again, if history has taught us anything, it's that it's always possible to rehire. If you're a PC Game Pass member looking to get one over on your console counterparts, then any one of these titles should do just the trick. Although it won't work on the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate crowd, they are far too powerful. Let us know all about your favourite PC Game Pass titles down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for all the latest Xbox news. Bye!